Hey guys, welcome to my channel Psycadmin. In my last video, we learned how to use the subscribe command and create a virtual machine using existing hard disk. In this video, we will learn how to restore a virtual machine using a snapshot and how to import and export a virtual machine from one Hyper-V to another instance of Hyper-V. So snapshots are called checkpoints in Hyper-V and checkpoints can be restored anytime to take you back to the desired location or to the desired configuration provided you have checkpoint for the same. So let's take a look how checkpoint works. So this is my Hyper-V manager and this is my virtual machine. What I'll do is I'll just create some folders and files in this. The desktop, all right, I've created a folder, a new. Mm, this is my image. This is my text. New contact. All right. So I have my contact. I have the image. I have the text file. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and delete this. It's in my recycle bin. I'll empty the recycle bin. All right. First of all, you can enable the checkpoint by right click on the virtual machine. Go to settings. You have the checkpoint tab here. You can enable and disable checkpoint from here. Uh, by default, checkpoints are always enabled when you create a new virtual machine. So if you want to disable the checkpoint, uh, once you create the virtual machine, go to settings and uncheck this box. All right, click on OK. So I already have a checkpoint here. I'll just delete this. Uh, have I deleted? Oh, all right. I did a stupid thing. Before deleting, I then take a checkpoint. Uh, I have to create those file again. Okay. So I have my documents here. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and take a checkpoint. If you want to take an instant checkpoint, just right click on the virtual machine, click on checkpoint. You can see the status, it's creating a checkpoint and it's done. Okay, so once the checkpoint is created, let's just go ahead and shift delete this. All right, I've done a shift delete. Now I want the folders and my files back. I have the checkpoint, right click on the checkpoint, click on apply. All right, now you, here you get three options. You can create a checkpoint and then apply. So before applying the settings, you can also take a checkpoint. You can directly apply the settings and third is to cancel. In my case, I will directly apply this. All right, the snapshot has been applied. You can see here, my virtual machine has been disconnected and it is asking me to reconnect. I'll go ahead and click reconnect. All right asking me to log in and hola so here's my folder and these are my files so this is how you use checkpoint to restore your data anytime all right provided you have checkpoint created for that I'll just minimize this the second is uh, we will learn how to import and export virtual machine so suppose your virtual machines are hosted on server 2012 and you want to move it to server 2016 you are in phase of migration and you're moving from 2012 to 2016 so how will you move your virtual machines you can use import export method to perform this action let's take a look how we do that so Suppose this is my Windows 2012 machine, my Windows 2012 server, and I have one virtual machine hosted on this one. Suppose I want to move this to my Windows 2016. What I'll do is, first of all, I'll shut down this VM. Let me click on export and export the configuration. Uh, not 0365 and a slab. All right, I'll create the folder and this lab score when when 10 export. All right, select folder, click on export. 
okay so this will export the virtual machine let's wait you can see the status it's completed it's 15 percent completed Other thing is, so I, I just have this one machine. So what I'll do is I'll export my virtual machine and I'll import my virtual machine in the same instance. So consider once it is exported, consider this is my Windows 6 2016 machine and uh, I'll export the virtual machine on the same Hyper-V manager. All right, uh, export succeeded. All right, so my export is completed. Now consider this is my 2016 machine. I've enabled Hyper-V feature. I am in my Hyper-V manager. What I'll do is I'll go ahead, click on new, click on import virtual machine, not new. Click next, select the folder. So you need to copy the folder to your new server. So this is the folder I created. I'll select this one, click next. Uh, it says hyper we cannot find virtual machine why all right uh, we need to select the subfolder all right click on next all right it has detected the virtual machines if you have one or more virtual machines it will be detected here so right now it has detected i have one virtual machine click on next okay so it gives you three options. I'll explain you what are these three options. So the first one is register. What register will do is it will register your virtual machine with existing unique ID on this instance, but the virtual machine file location will be on the original location. So in our case, we are importing the settings to 2016, but the virtual machine file locations will be on 2012 itself. So this is what register will do. What restore will do is restore will restore the virtual machine with existing unique ID and will allow you to choose the location. So you can restore your virtual machine with the existing unique ID and you can choose the location uh, on your new server itself. And what copy will do is copy will create a new virtual machine on different location. So if you are if you are in the phase of migration and if you are doing it from 2012 to 2016 or any server, I would recommend you to choose restore because your, all your files will be on the new server itself. All right. In our case, okay, let's select restore. Let's click on next. The operation failed because virtual machine with the same identifier already exists. All right. We can't choose restore because there is already an existing virtual machine with the same SID. So what I'll do is copy the virtual machine. It will create a unique ID, but this will give you the same interface you get while choosing restore. So I'll click on next. All right. So if we, if, if we choose restore, you'll still, you still get the same interface. All right. So store this virtual machine in different location. I'll keep it as all right. Configuration folder. Uh, go to D, export. All right, click next. Location for the hard disk. All right, click next. And finish. All right. It's loading file. So here, notice I have just have one virtual machine. In few seconds or minutes, I'll have the second one too, with the same name, but a different unique SID. Okay, I have the second virtual machine here. Let's okay. Let's go ahead and connect it. Start. Okay. 
connect all right this was fast mm, sorry all right so you can also use import export method to create new virtual machines and yeah this is how you use your import export method i have my file here still uh, all right so if you want to learn more about hyper-v and windows server installation please check out my next videos and please make sure you like and subscribe my channel thank you